Suffolk Strawberry Braid. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to the Pilbara. So it's Saturday afternoon, I've just knocked off work, come around to one of my favourite spots up here. I'm swapping work boots, go away for reef boots, high vis for Shimano shirts, I cracked a beer around here, here it is. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna head that way and uh, hit the creek, pick up a mangrove jack, nice juicy cod to be okay as well. After that, head back down the track find a nice shady quiet camp spot, camp up the night, cook up the fish and uh, just enjoy the Pilbara. Heaps of people up around this time of year, uh, but in this place it's, uh, it's not too bad at all. So anyway, no more talking. Let's get down to the creek. Cheers folks. Okay, we made it. A bit windy out here. Let's see how much water we got. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Got myself a new fishing rod. Ended up breaking my uh, Shimano Raider rod a while ago in the kayak. I got taken by a mangrove jack, took me into the snags and I got too impatient and uh, was pulling it and, and snapped it. So anyway, I really wanted to just uh, get another Raider exactly the same. I was really happy with that one. But uh, they didn't have any up in Headlands. I ended up getting a um, Samaki three-piece travel rod. Um, can't say that I was uh, that keen on getting a three-piece travel rod. I thought the action might be like the rod be really stiff. And, and it is a little bit. But um, I think it would be good for what I'm using for up here. And I can take it up and down to Perth and stuff like that. So Z-Man Diesel Minnows in uh, nuked chicken. Not nuclear chicken. Nuked chicken with a weedless. So I'm going to give that a bit of a cast around. But I've also done something a little bit uncharacteristic of me. I don't normally fish with um, like normal dead baits. But today I want to eat. Tonight I want to have a fish for dinner and cook up on the campfire. Just in case the, the fish aren't biting on the lures, I'm going to chuck some bait on. We should, we should do pretty good, I reckon. Okay, first cast. It's pretty good down here. There's no wind here. Oh. What the hell happened there? I should have checked that knot. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. Oh no. I hope that wasn't the rod. Nah. Damn it. Okay, um, new chicken diesel minnow paddle tail. This one, four inch. First one, get me hands on. I'll try that. My God, what's going on? Whew. Well, I don't know what's going on. I'm just seeing to be snapping my braid. There's something wrong with my braid. This is 20 pound, 20 pound fins braid. It's only, I think I've only ever taken it on a trip. So it's a bit weird. Look at this. I don't think you should be able to do this to 20 pound braid. You shouldn't be able to do that to 20 pound braid. That just snaps. Lucky I bought me other bait rod. I'll be in all sorts of trouble. 
that's that's got me absolutely dumbfounded why that would be doing that I pulled quite a few meters last time I went out I pulled quite a few meters off the spool maybe to get down to some stuff that I haven't used yet and she just snaps okay we're going old school we're going traditional running sinker to the hook bit of muley let's dump that in there let's, let's catch a fish I've snapped off lost two soft plastics and two jig heads not happy at all let's get a rod in the water mate come on and that's not where I want it to be anyway you really can't go wrong with baits here really can't go wrong the problem is when you throw baits on this is what you get cod Ooh, a few mullies down there pick it up pick it up mate Bait's probably gone, it is only muley. Oh no, it's still there. Here we go. He's got it, he's got it. Here we go. Oh, I lost him. You see, that's promising because that fish did a bit of a run when it took that bait. If that was a cod, he would have just run for the nearest rock. That may have been a small salmon or a jack or something like that. See if he's back in there. See all those mullet down there? See the mullet? Oh, I should have bought me cast net. It's in the car. Why'd I leave it in the car for? I didn't carry my cast net because I was too busy carrying my beer, that's why. Cod. Nah, salmon. Catfish. Wow. Another caddy, is it? Oh, this spot's not looking that crash, are they? That's better. That's better. This feels really good. A few head shakes. If it was, it could be a shark. Or thready. Cod, is it? Black. It's cod. Big cod. Oh, that could be dinner. That will be dinner and then take home fillets. Ooh. I don't know. What do I do? If I throw him back, I might not get anything else. Dilemma. Dilemma. That's a nice cod. He's a nice cod. I still don't know what to do. Forty-nine. Forty-nine cod. That's a good cod. Look, he's look how fat he is too. Oh, he's got some fish in there. He's going to be nice eating. Okay, I've decided I'm going to hang on to this fella. He's um, he's going to be pretty good eating. So the tide's dropping in this area. So I don't think it's probably wise for me to throw him back and rely on me trying to catch something else. I'm here to catch a feed. Not, not a trophy fish, but uh, hey, this is nothing to sneeze at. This cod's going to be really nice to eat. And I said to you before that he was really fat. And you can see this is what he's been eating. Try not to gross you out too much. Wow, that's a decent uh, decent sort of fish he's been, been chewing on there. Big mullet or something like that. Yeah. So here we go. Here's dinner.
big fat black spot estuary cod awesome okay so just moved over to another spot got me cod chilling in the water over there gonna uh, bait up my crab net throw it in here see if we can pick up a muddy so what I'm using for bait is good slab of mangrove jack if you look in one of my previous videos mangrove mayhem I uh, did really well on the mangrove jacks up in the Pilbara Creek here and I've kept the frames to uh, use as crab bait so that's what we're going to throw in now okay No muddies. Okay, time to move on. Get my cod out of the mud. Hey mate, I'm looking for a spot to camp. Where? Back there? Oh, here right, I'll do a U and turn around. Thanks, mate. Hello, how are you? Here we go, in here. This looks pretty good. Bit of local knowledge doesn't go astray. Doesn't get any better than this, I tell you. Nice and quiet. It's going to be a good spot for the night. Anyway, time to get out of these uh, smelly, dirty fishing clothes. Time to get changed. So what you didn't see in that click of a finger was uh, me uh, walking around the side of the car nearly treading on a snake. So, unfortunately, uh, I thought the work boots were done for today, but um, they're back on. So I'll keep them on for the rest of the night. Might be a good idea. Uh, you can't come out here and not expect to see snakes. Um, he was okay. He was only a small snake. He put it off over there somewhere, so just he can uh, he can stay over there. So yeah. Bed made, done. $25 chairs from Kmart, not Yeti compatible. I guess you get what you pay for, eh?
Okay, this is Wing It Missions. Three essential items that are critical for camping. One is a campfire. You can see that in front of you. Two, Bushman's. Extra strength. Can't go without it. Three, the most important. Bundy rum. One litre. Three essentials for Pilbara country camping. Thank me later. Okay, the idea is not to go too crazy here. So cheese with our fish. Here's our fish there. It's looking pretty good. We'll just throw that in some oh there's a bun. If that doesn't make you guess what I'm having, I don't know what will. So I had some seasoning in here, but I don't know where it is. Here it is. Everything's just chucked in here. Nothing's organised. That looks pretty good. How's that sunset? Look at that beautiful Pilbara sky. You can't beat that. You just can't beat that. Okay, the oil's pretty good. I've decided that I'm going to cook all of this fish. I will eat it all. I won't waste it. Ooh. Smells awesome. Smells really good. Okay, so if you watch one of my other videos, recent videos down at Harvey Dam, I did a red fin bush burger. I guess this one's a, I don't know, Pilbara bush burger with estuary cod. I've got, uh, I've got salad this time, a little, little bit more organised, not too much, just, just a little bit. Fish is looking pretty good. So, I'll just do this ever so lightly oh geez that fish smells good a little bit of charcoal on the bread so i've just turned those buns over i don't really know what they're made of because they're sitting directly on the coals and it's bloody hot and they're like not burning or anything so they're pretty resilient to the heat so i wonder what they're actually made of I wonder what I'm eating here. 
They're on special. I wonder if that's got anything to do with it. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Awesome. Okay, like I said, I don't have any butter. So that's a real pain. So we'll just put the cupie on first. Running out of cupie. That sounds exceptional. Yeah, it's perfect. Mm. One, two, bit of salt and pepper. Excuse the footage, I'm holding the GoPro with my knees. Jesus, this is hard. Bit of cheese. Bit of salad. Oh goodness me. I'll sort it out. Okay. One on there. That one on there. It does not look the part. But it's going to taste bloody awesome. I'm telling you now. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. Mm-hmm. That's better. Whoa. Still not Yeti compatible. What's going on here? Jeez. Messy. Messy, but really good. Messier the better. Oh, well, that's pretty good. <clears throat> I know I whinge and carry on a lot about uh, cod, catching cod and uh, cods everywhere you go. It takes your live bait when you're trying to catch barramundi. Cods, the, the fish. I'm glad I kept that cod. I nearly uh, nearly let him go. I was, I was trying to upgrade to maybe a mangrove jack or uh, a threadfin salmon. I haven't had a threadie for ages, so I was sort of hoping to get a threadie. But uh, I'm glad I didn't throw that cod back because after I caught that cod, I never caught a decent fish after that again. Uh, the tide was too low, so that little hole there was just full of catfish and I had no chance. So lucky, I'm so glad I kept that cod. So glad. Yeah, that was awesome. So today on the way to the fishing spot, decided I'd uh, drop into the Wim Creek pub. Took some camera footage and some pictures and stuff like that. For those of you who spend quite a bit of time in the Pilbara, you'll know the Wim Creek pub pretty well. It's halfway between Port Hedland and Caratha. Unfortunately, the old pub is shut down now and it's abandoned. It's not in operation anymore. At some stage, it was sold off to a mining venture and used for um, workforce accommodation and camp. And for some reason, um, that wasn't viable and it was shut down. It's just a real shame to see the centre part of a community get shut down like that. A lot of pubs in the Pilbara are sort of going the same way. And uh, for those, to see those pubs which have been uh, such a vital part of the community as far as people getting together after work on the weekends and having a few beers, a few wines, socialise, uh, that's gone. That's gone forever, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, it was a little bit sad to see the way it was today. And uh, hopefully, hopefully someone might come in and save it, but I'm not too sure. It's been down for quite a few years now. So if you've had a good time at the Wim Creek pub and you're an old Pilbarite, leave a comment at the bottom and uh, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Been here 
since ten It's not hard to tell For the butts at his feet fill the tray And he turns off the jukebox When the young'uns come in Cause he can't stand the music they play but Late afternoon When the stockmen come in He hunts down the ones who look green And tells stories of stock horse And wild Brahmin bulls And his station He's been His old heel of red Sits quiet and still Outside the public bar door Here he sits far away When old mate gets drunk Cause he's heard all those stories before Here I'm telling you now mate he looks old and fat but He won't take kindly to a stroke or a pat The handier times when barrooms get rough It's there for his good mate when the going gets tough He's a battler, a drifter, a stockman turned writer He stood so proud as he sung me his songs The lines on his face told of hard years and sadness but he's glad now, he's here now, his hard days are gone.